Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to the dungeon. My name is Robin and today is Lamp Working in Black and White, Volume 30. Today I have an amazing little bead for you guys. I got obsessed with this technique, it's really cool. It is the ruffled disc. If you have never seen it done, it's hard to kind of figure out right off the bat. All you need is a thick mandrel. Here is my bead mandrel that I usually use and so here you can see the difference in thickness and if you've never tooled glass before then you're in for a treat. Let's get right into it. I hope you're all doing safe and well out there. See you next time in the dungeon. All right, I have decided to do this demonstration in real time. The bead only took about maybe five to seven minutes, depending on how many colors you decide to use. And with this one, I'm gonna start out with the black. And it took me a, a while to kind of figure out the best way to approach making a nice disc. And here's a couple things that I learned. <laughs> the first one is to make a really nice base bead. If you are using a five millimeter uh, glass rod, you might wanna build this up double wide. Here I'm using a, a nine millimeter rod, an eight to nine millimeter, and it, it's thick. Um, I like the size of this rod and it allows the glass to really um, give a nice wide path on the mandrel. And I'm gonna heat this up. You see how big it is? So this is about the size you want. You don't want it real thin. And I'm gonna heat the glass up while that um, bead is cooling a little bit and give it a nice big wrap. This is another reason why I like a thicker rod when I make these types of beads because the thicker the rod, the more glass I can get hot on the end and the easier it is for me to make a full um, wrap around the bead. And there I just went ahead and squeezed it a bit with my mini mashers, but that didn't quite do uh, what I wanted it to do. And what I want to do is to taper, start a very gentle taper on this bead. The base of it is nice and wide, and as you can see, it will start to taper towards the end. And that will give you a really nice thin edge to your disc. And it takes a couple times of tooling. Don't move on until you got what, you know, until you have what you like. And I checked the, the roundness and I like the way that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Anytime I'm heating up a fresh rod, a lot of times I will keep my bead warm in the back of the flame. That can be really important the bigger the disc gets. So I'm just, that's why I'm heating my disc way, way in the back and just taking my time getting the white glass uh, ready to go. And here I'm just gonna drop and kind of, I lift up and kind of tug back a little bit as I turn my mandrel. And that gives me a really nice long kind of uh, uh, bit of glass to work off of and get all the way around my bead. So I'm gonna add one more nice long wrap around this disc of the white. <laughs> And then I will go ahead and just kind of start to use my uh, marvering pad again to just push that bit of glass back into center. I always have noticed that anytime I add wraps to my glass, um, I'm always tending to add it to the uh, slightly on the right side of my bead. Just one of those things, I guess. But so I, I try to compensate for that and push it the other way. And now I'm going to add the black. And again, I'm just heating up my black and as it takes time to heat up that bit of glass, I am keeping the bead warm in the back of the flame. That's really gonna help me out from anything cracking. I have to tell you guys, I was really proud of these uh, wraps. I was really proud of these wraps. <laughs> uh, you know, it, <clears throat> it takes time to get things the way you want them to be. 
but um, you know, it's practice, practice, practice. That's all I can say. <laughs> and if I can do it, so can you. <laughs> So I'm just going to use my um, my the paddle again just to, to push that glass and keep everything nice and straight on this disc. And then I will take my time heating up more glass, keeping the bead warm in the back of the flame. And then I'll go ahead and add this last nice big wrap. In a perfect world, you will add this wrap all the way around the disc in a perfect world. And um, I'm not always living in that perfect world. So I was really pleased that I was able to get enough glass to make it look really nice and round. Anyway, so once you have your disc built up like this, uh, you want to go ahead and kind of tool it a little bit more with the graphite paddle. Just get everything lined up. Okay, maybe not with the paddle. Let's go ahead and use the mini mashers. That will help to straighten the edge up and kind of uh, even it out. What I don't want to happen here is I don't want the disc to start to melt down into a bead. Um, you always want to maintain this nice wide disc. Okay. Let's go ahead and add the ruffles. So I'm gonna turn my torch down and just start to heat up one little area on both sides. And then I will take my thick mandrel and just pull it in the direction that I wanna go. And then I will just turn it a little bit more. You know, I'm kind of looking at it going, okay, that's a downward fold and I do the upward fold. Pretend like the downward fold is already there and then just space yourself out accordingly. Depending on how big the disc is will kind of depend on how many ruffles you will be able to add. And on this disc, I was able to add six ruffles all the way around. And it's just a matter of patience and knowing when to come out of the heat and tool the glass. Okay, here's the best part is that you're gonna turn it around uh, if you work in the middle, and then you're going to pull opposite with the other ruffle. And this is what's gonna give you that really beautiful, um, long back and forth ruffled disc. I just love this, you guys. I got obsessed with this. I have to move on and work on other stuff, but oh my gosh. This bead is so much fun. I can't stress enough <laughs> how much fun I had making all these. Even the ones that didn't work out, they were just fun to, to tool the glass. Okay, I'm just gonna do this uh, one more time. I love the way that looks. I hope you guys enjoy this and give it a try. And um, yeah, let me know how it goes for you. And on that note, thanks for sticking with me with this demo. And I will see you next time in the dungeon.